Hi, welcome to Okra Hamster. Today I'll be viewing this Exquison LED projector model 501AD. And first thing I do is show off the user manual here. And here's the product specifications for it. So this is a 1080p projector and that's got a 3000 lumens. Here's a look from the front. We got a ventilation, the IR receiver, a little cap for the bulb. And I can also turn this to focus the image. On top, we got a power button and also a directional keypad to control the unit if I don't want to use remote control. Then on the back of the unit, starting from the right hand side, we got a power input, a little air intake, two USB ports, two HDMI, here's the VGA port, SD card reader, IR, and also the composite ports and one of the port for the TV antenna. On the bottom over here, this is to adjust the keystone. On this side right here, we got the speaker. Here's a look at the bottom of the unit. For each of these foot pegs, I can turn this screw because I can use it to elevate and also balance when it's on a table. For example, if I want to aim upward, I'll just turn the screw, loosen it, and it'll be angled upward. Here, I just want to show how far the projector would need to be from the screen in order to achieve a certain screen size. And for my demonstration, I got a USB flash drive here. I got a 1080p video on it. I also got my Chromecast plugged into HDMI 2. The Chromecast is powered by USB port, USB port number 2. Turn the unit on. And here, I'm not going to turn off the light to this room because this is a 3000 lumens projector. You can hear the fan going on. It is a bit louder than the other low budget projectors I've viewed in the past. I'm going to play some videos from my phone here. Let's pick one of my more, more recent ones. August 1st, 2016. Pause it. The audio you're hearing was coming from the speakers from the unit. And the quality of the audio is pretty good. What I'm going to do now is change the source to USB 1. So here I'll be playing the 1080p video from my drive, my thumb drive, into movies. Choose a drive. And for this video, I'm going to hit the play button. Not the OK button, but play. The reason I do that is because if I hit a play button, it plays a full screen by default. So, this is my first time driving a Tesla Model S. And that's just a video of me driving a Tesla. As for pros and cons, let's start with the video quality. The 1080p video I was playing earlier, crisp, clear, whether it's from a streaming device or a USB flash drive. The unit itself is very easy to use. The menu system, easy to navigate, the control they provided, was also very easy to use as well. Now, the built-in speakers on this unit is actually pretty good, but it, this unit does have those analog audio outs, so I can connect this to like a sound bar, a home entertainment system if I wanted to. Depending on how far the projector is from the screen, it can display from 60 inches all the way to 250 inches. My current home theater projector is the Epson Home Cinema, but that one cost me well over $1,000, whereas this one by Exquizon, well, this one costs just $250, 3,000 lumens, it can project images from 60 inches to 150 inches. Good audio, it already has audio out too if you wanted to hook it up to your home theater system. So for those that's looking for a very good, low cost home theater projector, I would recommend this one. Well, thanks for watching this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.